So the other day, I was asked by my friend, what cine brand? Because I went for a shopping to buy some apparel for myself. I was looking at some items which were priced under 2000 rupees on one side. And on the other side, similar product, but with a different brand. And it is priced as 5000 rupees. And I have inquired with the salesman and asked, hey, do you know why there is such a price difference? He mentioned it is about brand. So it made me ponder about branding. Do you think branding is really required? And I was doing some introspection and found about some of the popular products like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft. No matter what kind of product they launch, consumers are going to give it a try. And in the hindsight, one of the reasons might be because of the brand that they have established for themselves. Okay, so that is more on the company side, on the product side, on the services side, program side. But how about personal branding? Do you think personal branding is important? Hello. Hi there. Welcome to the Guiding Voice podcast series. The Guiding Voice for a better future. This podcast is for professional students, IT employees and entrepreneurs to shape their careers. Dear listeners, in every episode we interact with industry experts or leaders or academicians or coaches across the globe to drive some insightful conversations that will help our audience learn great things. Also, we share an interesting trivia or a fun fact about the IT world or technology towards the end. Thank you for tuning in. This is Naveen and with my co-host Sudhakar. So by now you have guessed our topic for today. It is about building a personal brand and we are also going to discuss about why personal branding is important for entrepreneurs and startup branding as well as individuals in order to build a brand for themselves. And to discuss this intriguing topic we are pleased to welcome Branded Kavita to our show. Branded Kavita is a woman who always loved to write and be under the spotlight. In her childhood, she wrote poems, something that resonated with her name, and when she got her degree in English, she started writing commercially. All along, she had one desire to make a difference and to be popular. After gaining a mix of corporate and freelancing experience, Kavita thought it was the right time to build something of her own. that is how she became a certified life coach kavita welcome to our show hi sudhakar thanks a lot thanks a lot uh, navin to for inviting me over to the show excellent so kavita can we talk a bit about your career journey and why you started helping people build on their personal brand yeah sure sure so what happened is i started my career with corporate and after that i you know when i quit the job i wanted to do something of my own so i while i was scrolling instagram i came across an ad from mel robbins and i thought i really wanted to be a coach a life coach and i really wanted to be a motivational speaker so thereafter you know i i took a course and i became a certified life coach and i was like now my days have changed and i would be doing a business of my own with something uh, which i really wanted to do from starting okay but what exactly happened when i started running webinars i failed miserably you know it just fell down and i didn't realize like i couldn't understand why is it happening then i understood that actually nobody knows me in the industry i don't have a social media presence i don't have a community i don't have a network so that really uh, that really budged me that really kind of moved me that i really need to first build a personal brand and then i can go back to my life coaching and you know in any field actually you first need to build a personal brand so this is how i discovered the importance of having a personal brand because until unless you have a personal brand you cannot succeed in any of the industries actually because now the times have changed it's not really that there's less competition due to globalization there's a lot of competition out there and so this is how i first i started like it was like out of need you can say that i started building my personal brand and after that when i uh, could build a personal brand for myself i started building for others as well so this is how you know my career uh, started and this is how i landed up with personal brand excellent so kavita we know the branding from corporates like you know mcdonalds 
apple tata what is personal branding in layman terms how can i become branded sudhakar like branded kavita so the personal branding according to me what i have put it in layman terms is that it's what people know of you not really what you have built for yourself so and who are these people and what they know of you is what i would call as a personal brand how people perceive you what kind of value they place in you what kind of goodwill they place in you what kind of trust or credibility they place in you is a personal brand in layman terms so you can say the amount of goodwill and the amount of trust you have gained till now in your audience is your personal brand in layman terms wow i think that is very simple and easy to understand thanks for sharing that details and it is all about people relating you to them right you, sh- you should be known for something you should be credible and all so that's on the individual side now we know like uh, people venture into the startups and they run on their own entrepreneurship journey start their own businesses so on and so forth so how important is it for those people to build a brand for themselves I've always been telling people like you know I got a lot of calls from the startup owners the founders I mean a lot of people schedule a lot a lot of calls with me and they always ask me how can personal branding help me so the personal branding is very very important for entrepreneurs why I'll tell you whenever a person starts a business uh, there are a lot of things that he would require right so he requires a network he requires a community he requires funding opportunities and people really need to know him to place trust in his offerings whatever he has like digital products or a, it's a product based company people really need to trust him and without personal branding he won't be able to do it why because let's say if uh, a, an entrepreneur is building a company okay now he uh, wants to approach investors okay uh, so investors before investing in his his company they would want to know a bit about the founder the ceo or the startup owner okay so what he would do is like 65% of the people actually do an online search to know about the person and before buying his product or before you know trusting his word or maybe before following him okay so that's very important so uh, for an entrepreneur let's say funding is very important uh networking is very important so personal branding gives you that chance to network to build a community and it makes you synonymous uh, with the industry let's say you uh, we all know about fevicol fevicol is a product it's not really a thing it's a product and every adhesive object you see they call it as a fevicol or a fevi stick so now fevicol has become synonymous with the adhesive niche you know anything that you need to paste is called fevicol so obviously you need to be synonymous with the industry and for being synonymous with the industry or being an influencer or being a established person in the industry you need to have a personal brand and personal branding then gives you an edge because everybody starts trusting you let's say if you are following somebody let's say if you are following me and if i am not posting content or maybe i'm not consistent on social media uh, how would you trust me you won't but if i am consistently coming up in your feed you would want to know who is branded kavita i would really want to know about her and then you will just tap on my profile and and like this only we have like we connected on twitter and here we are on podcast so these are networking opportunities that people get when they are building a personal brand online as well as offline right now during the covid times offline is not really possible but online is still there so people really need to leverage social media for building a personal brand so this is how personal branding is important for entrepreneurs as well as small uh, small business owners and even freelancers that's amazing and often overlooked people think it's only about yeah. your known circles and all but in case if you want to get connected with the investors and all definitely they are going to search for our linkedin profiles twitter or any other social media profile and in fact as kavita has mentioned we connected through twitter because i happened to read through yeah. one of her intriguing right. posts and immediately we established that connection and we started conversation here right branded kavita one other thing which i would like to resonate with you about fevicol and adesive being synonymous there is another example in the xerox world right in the photocopy machine yeah. like xerox exactly. is a company which actually manufactured this photocopy machines but now everybody yeah. says can i get a xerox right irrespective of which machine are they using this canon or anything else yeah. right <laughs> 
So I was like, I was reading some post because I also wrote a post on Xerox on LinkedIn to emphasize the need of personal branding. And I read in uh, because while I was doing the research, I I found out that there were some people from the company or I don't know because uh, the Xerox word was overused and they had some the company had some plans and so they were kind of quite disturbed by this thing that everybody who wants a photocopy is connecting it with a Xerox and Xerox is itself a brand it's not just a photocopy company it's it's more than that okay so something like that happened yeah exactly like Xerox are the pioneers in technology but that is the least known fact yeah because they have become synonymous with the photocopy machines right. <laughs> interesting so branded kavita we have been talking a lot about personal branding right the importance and all now can we talk a little bit about some of the mistakes that people do with regard to establishing their personal branding there are a lot of uh, mistakes that people are doing when it comes to building a personal brand the first mistake is uh, that not really being yourself like being genuine so they try to fake it and they try to show the positive sides only let's say i shared my story that how i failed miserably and then i found out about, uh, about personal branding they are not ready to share their failures they are just ready to f- share their successes and it's not really true you cannot be successful all the time you cannot like hit 100% every every time you know you do something so that's very important like you know and plus people really think that showing that they have a lot of luxurious products or maybe you know the luxuries the extravagance would really inspire people i would say yes it would in- inspire people but is this who you are actually no you are not so you cannot really fake it so the number one mistake that people are doing while building a personal brand they are not really being themselves that's very important and then the second mistake that i've found out and i've realized over calls with people is that they always ask me that let's say if we start posting from today and if we start building a personal brand from today how fast we would get the results will we start getting the results in a month in a in a two or maybe in three months see personal branding is not built overnight i've been following people who have been building personal brand from the last five years more than five years okay and still they are not selling anything they are just building their personal brand they are just putting out a lot of content i'm talking about online things then they are into a lot of collaborations but not really selling their products so people really need to understand that it's not really an overnight thing for being successful for being a strong personal brand you really need to put in a lot of work and it's not really an overnight success so that is the second mistake i believe that people think that yes we can do it in a day or two no you cannot so uh, these are two mistakes and there are a lot of other mistakes also but i think these are the two major mistakes that people really need to understand about personal branding and there's one more thing let's say if i am building my personal and i have a team working with me i understand while beginning you really need to do all the things you have to be a multiple hats but for building a personal brand you would need people because you cannot have all the roles and responsibility let's say you are a content creator you are creating content also you are designing also you are writing captions also you are shooting also so everything because then that kills the sp- spirit of building a personal brand so you really need to have a team in place for building a successful personal brand i'm not saying that in the beginning that you can have have it all but gradually if you are getting results from your personal brand you need re- you need to reinvest and you need to have a team in place because that really helps you do it on a large scale actually so these are the three mistakes i think personal branding people who are into you know Uh, thinking of building a personal brand they really need to break these myths that you know personal branding is this or that no they really have to put in a lot of work yeah absolutely i would echo with your second point more because you know initially we agreed that goodwill and trust is what drives the brand and there is this old saying right trust is earned in drops and last in buckets so you definitely need to build that trust by your words your actions and what you are demonstrating and you cannot fake it for long term so don't try to be something that you are not like you said uh, branded kavita it is always good to show the true picture because that will have longevity and that will have the trueness and that honesty which people will be easily able to connect right so kavita 
who is your role model with respect to personal branding i have two role models one is gary v uh, everybody knows who gary vanderchuk is okay so why because he puts i think more than 6 to 7 times content on each social media platforms and i think he is more than on 10 to 11 social media platforms and he's been building his personal brand since i think more than 13 14 years and i have read his story that how he grew his father's wine company from a small shop to an international brand by just you know recording videos of him tasting wine and giving his reviews on that on using social media and uh, today he is a successful person everybody knows who Gary Vaynerchuk is he is all over the social media and whatever channel you open he is there he has to be there any other let's say it was clubhouse he was there he was promoting clubhouse and he was talking about clubhouse the new social media platform that we have now right now okay and when podcast started he was there so for building a personal brand i don't think so there is any other any other role model that can come to your mind first it has to be gary v first and the second role model that i have is oh, people call him indian gary v that's digital prati and i follow him like anything and uh, he has been on the footsteps of gary v and yes he has his unique flavor but he has been putting out a lot of content and being there and it's been like for more than 5 to 6 years he has been building a personal brand and he's been very successful people follow him he has a successful podcast so these are the two people i follow him and if i uh, relate my content like if i relate my situation with anybody of these is digital pratik i quite relate to him so you can say above all it's like you know the gary v ethics i follow by and i look up to him for building my personal brand excellent two of the icons yeah. gary v and digital prati yeah, at yeah. international and national level amazing branded kavita so one aspect that i wanted to understand from you is we talked about personal branding we generally hear this another phrase called executive presence as well right you know how you present yourself in that executive standpoint so are both of them the same or is there any link or how do you see the relationship between personal branding and executive presence see personal branding is something let's say uh, you want to achieve 100 marks in the paper right so with personal branding you can achieve a distinction like 75 marks you can get through personal branding but what after that like after uh, you've achieved 75% you really want to hit those 25% as well so for hitting that 25% you need executive presence and actually what exactly do we mean by personal branding and executive presence is personal branding takes you to the that 75% mark but executive presence is something which will help you express yourself like how you have come this way i mean uh, how you have achieved this 25% and it would help you express yourself in the niche you are so that is called a executive presence so personal branding after you've been to the 75% mark now you need to elevate your brand so for elevating that brand you need to have that executive presence because what exactly is executive presence executive presence is like what you know of the industry very niche very narrow and what exactly you uh, what you are speaking you know of yourself okay so that is executive presence so executive presence will elevate your brand after you achieve like 75% of the success so this is how i link personal branding to executive presence both are different but both are related also that's a wonderful analogy awesome comparison to achieving 75% distinction and beyond as a executive presence wonderful so branded kavita we have been discussing a lot around personal branding very seriously and uh, can we pep up or spice up this conversation with a uh, few rapid fire questions are you ready sure 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 yeah go ahead <laughs> okay so here comes the first bullet out of the rapid fire if you were a celebrity who would you be akshay kumar I would love to be Akshay Kumar. Yeah. You want to know why? It's <laughs> just a rapid, rapid fire round. Uh, just a rapid fire. Yeah. Uh, next one: speed or perfection, and why? See, for uh, for me, perfection is a myth. So speed. 
and while you are on speed while you are doing things in a speed in a faster way you are learning a lot of things so perfection is a myth nobody is perfect and you cannot achieve that i mean perfection is a destination i would say okay? and speed is the journey so speed for me great what is the weirdest thing that you have googled so far how to commit suicide actually i googled it first time because i really want to know want to know Man. is there a presence on uh, i mean google to know i mean how to commit suicide are these stupid people they provide them ways how to commit suicide i, I was really curious so i wanted to you know kind of google so i just googled how to commit suicide and there were like multiple ways to commit suicide i mean, I mean lavin after after this podcast we are going to be very popular <laughs> <laughs> very very curious now i was also search for like you know how to like how to create a bomb or something like that i was like i really want to know is there a way to like have google really listed like how to create a bomb why are they providing this crucial information to public there shouldn't be anything actually you know Yeah. That was very candid. Here comes the next one. Branded Kavita, you can have a dinner party with any four people in the world. Who would be on your invite list other than your family members? Okay. So first would be Akshay Kumar. Second would be Gary Vee and third would be Anthony Robbins and fourth would be Elon Musk. Awesome. Spot on. Okay, here comes the last one for the rapid fire. Invisibility or super strength? Super strength because I don't think so you can do anything with invisibility but with super strength you can make like 48 hours out of 24 hours and that's the most important thing to succeed because you get tired I don't like getting tired you know so super strength Wonderful thank you so much for being very sportive in this rapid fire right thoroughly enjoyed this uh, uh, rapid fire round over to you Sudhakar Thank you branded Kavita that was an amazing rapid fire I should say <laughs> Thank you you should have kept your questions Uh, absolutely we did not realize that this would be so <laughs> rapid otherwise we should have uh, we could have added like couple of more no problem for the next episode you can put more uh, absolutely we will one final question for this session kavita what is your one piece of advice for those aspiring to make big in their lives see uh, i have this biggest regret that i started building my personal brand one and a half or you know two years ago okay and uh, and this i realized when i couldn't sell my courses i i failed as a digital coach i failed as a life coach so i think people who are just starting out or may, maybe let's say in 12th standard or maybe you know whatever uh, they are passionate about they should start building a personal brand they should start putting themselves out so that's very important so my biggest piece of advice is please do not ignore your personal brand because that is the most important thing people won't know what exactly you know and there is a lot of competition because of globalization because of liberalization so how would you stand out so you can only stand out by building a personal brand by having that solid presence offline online offline it's not possible right now because of the covid thing and it's not really that successful which online is i can say that like so i would say this is the biggest piece of advice and everybody entrepreneurs be and the pros beat startup owners beat you know freelancers beat individuals beat women who are you know uh, looking to uh, restart their career after you know their married life or after whatever happened in their life so it's very important you you know invest some time in building a personal brand always so that's my advice to the starters to the beginners here excellent kavita Thank you so much for joining us today. It was indeed a candid conversation about building your own personal brand and why and how it is important for not only the entrepreneurs or startup owners but also as individuals to each one of us. Yeah. And I really liked that point from you that you know if someone is in their plus 2 or in the initial part of their engineering or b school you know it is there is never early time you all can you always can start little early so that you are ahead of the game and i thoroughly enjoyed that rapid fire conversation absolutely <laughs> it was spot on and so candid really appreciate you taking time for us and our audience uh, this afternoon thank you so much So thanks a lot to Dhakar and it was really nice you know you invited me like I don't think so I've been invited to any of the podcast episodes till now uh, maybe one or two but they didn't take it seriously so I was like okay it's fine so and thanks a lot to Dhakar and it was really wonderful and I loved the conversation So thanks again uh, Kavita 
and folks if you have liked this episode please share with at least three of your friends or colleagues for whom you care for because the guiding voice podcast series is a purely not for profit venture and our team puts in a lot of effort to bring the best conversations to all our listeners and our purpose is very clear we want to provide curated guidance to all the professional students out there be it from engineering b schools and all the it employees and entrepreneurs so that all of you can make informed decisions based on the insights that are driven by the industry experts coaches leaders or academicians across the globe because if you share this with your friends it helps them also learn great insights from every episode or if you are listening to the guiding voice podcast on the apple podcast please do not forget to leave a review and a five star rating because every rating will help us expand our reach and contribute to our mission to shape the careers and lives of millions of people across the globe and if you are watching the episode on youtube please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and last but not the least i want to reiterate please share with at least three of your friends or colleagues thank you so much in advance all right so it brings us to the trivia segment of today's episode and today's trivia is about amazon so folks do you know what was the first book sold on amazon i know you will start googling now but let me tell you the answer It was a book on fluid concepts and creative analogies computer models of the fundamental mechanisms of thought by Douglas Hofstadt that is the book which sold first on Amazon interesting isn't it thank you for listening there is more in store folks stay tuned take care be safe until next time bye bye and we are signing off for today <laughs>